Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. We are just getting started. My name is Tim Page. I'll be your host today. And this is Marketing Storytelling for SMBs, How to Tell Stories that sell. We have a fantastic presentation lined up today. In case you're just joining us, we do have folks from both of our teams here in the chat to answer questions. I can't see the chat, so I won't be able to answer your questions as we go, but get your questions in. Uh, our team will answer them and then I'll jump in uh, at the end. We'll have plenty of time for uh, Q&A then. So thank you for being here. Before we dive into the training though, I wanna introduce you to the two teams that are behind this training because these are folks that really know what they're talking about. So promo.com is one of the teams behind this training. Promo.com is the world's leading video creation platform for businesses and agencies. And we help businesses promote anything with great videos effectively and affordably. So if you, like me, are just not great at video, <laughs> promo.com is a platform that can really make it happen for you. And then Taylor Brands is the other team behind this training. Uh, and they are the world's leading AI-powered logo design and branding platform. We empower, we empower millions of people around the world to kickstart their business with great branding and design tools in just a few clicks. Again, something that I typically really struggle with is that visual branding element. It's just something I'm not great at. And Taylor Brands has made it so easy for me to be able to do that and have consistency across my brands and tell my story visibly. So again, promo.com and Taylor Brands, are, they're two companies that you really wanna be paying attention to. And they have really created a wonderful training for you today. I'm really excited to be sharing it with you. The agenda for today, a lot of folks have been asking. So we're gonna go for just about an hour. We will uh, be diving into a lot of stuff. We'll be showing you some, some things and also uh, giving you a little demo of how you can get these things done easily. So it's not just gonna be telling you what to do. It's gonna be showing you how to do it. Our, we're gonna be going through what our goal is today. We'll tell you the power of storytelling in marketing. And then we're gonna discuss what makes a good marketing story. So you'll know kind of what to do as you're going to create your own marketing story. We're gonna share with you a bit of pre-storytelling preparation. So in case you, you are ready to tell your story, you wanna make sure you have everything set up, we're gonna go through that. We'll discuss how to share your marketing story. So once you've got your story, what do you do with it? We're gonna give you a marketing story checklist so that you know before you share that story out to the world uh, if it's ready to roll. So let's jump into the goal. Today's goal for you, what I want you to do, what I want you to walk away from this training is with the knowledge of how to craft your business's marketing story, as well as how to tell that story through trending channels. And of course, not just to be able to tell a story, but how to leverage that story to boost your business, right? We've all, we all wanna grow our businesses and this is gonna be one of your favorite ways to do that. So I'm really excited for this, but let's start with a definition. I wanna make sure we're on the same page. When I say storytelling, a lot of things might come to mind, but when we talk about storytelling, storytelling to us describes the cultural activity of sharing narratives, whether verbally, visually, theatrically, or through the written word. That's what we mean, what we mean when we say storytelling. Okay, but the question is then, what makes storytelling such an effective tool for businesses? And it's a great question, and there's kind of a three-part answer to this question. So the first part of that answer is that it gets everyone on the same page. See, when someone hears a compelling story, their brain actually anticipates what will be said next. It achieves the ultimate goal of human connection, which is to convey info and emotion from one person to the next. It allows you, as the storyteller, to align yourself with the audience and them with you. Second, it has a lasting impact. So a good story will have a lasting impact with your audience. It gets stored not only in their conscious, but in their subconscious, so that for a long time, they're gonna be able to remember you and connect with you and resonate with your brand. And then finally, it motivates and persuades. So a good story has the power to motivate current and potential customers. So if you want your customers to actually, you know, take action, to join your email list, to come into your restaurant, to buy your products, whatever it is that you're looking to do, great, a great story has the power to get people to actually take that action. So I wanted to share some real world examples that really show that stories have that lasting impact that you're looking for. So I wanna ask you this question. Do you think that people are more prone to donate after seeing a face or hearing stats? 
So are they more prone to donate after seeing a face or hearing stats? Let us know in the chat what you think. Send it right in there. Let us know. Are they more likely to donate after seeing a face or hearing stats? I love it. Okay. No, this is good. So we are, truth, truth be told, <clears throat> based on data, we are more prone to donate to children in a third world country with a single story with a face and name than astronomic stats of child poverty, right? Those stats, we would think, oh, I hear these stats and I, I see how terrible this problem is. And so I need to fix this problem. But when we see that face, we get a name, we hear the story of one person, we connect better based on that story, okay? Another example, why do you think it is that most people feel it is safer to drive than to fly? Why do most people feel it's safer to drive than to fly? Yeah, the truth is that we forget the stats, even though there are far more car accidents, far more problems with cars than with flights. We forget all about those stats. But when we see in the news that those that traumatizing plane crash or the disappearances, we automatically feel like planes are scarier, right? We're more afraid to fly than to drive. Those stories they stick with us for a long time and they can motivate the way that we view the world. And so you as a business can apply this in your marketing. And how do we do that? Well, Forbes says that storytelling is 22 times more memorable to a brand's audience than facts. Fast Company says that 92% of consumers want major brands to make ads feel like a story. This is what consumers are telling you. They want to be told that story. The drum says that 15% of people will immediately buy from a brand if they like their story, and 55% will consider buying in the future. They also say that 80% of people want brands to tell stories, and most of them want to hear stories about regular people rather than celebrities. So if you're afraid that you don't have you know, the budget to get a celebrity to endorse you or you don't have that kind of power, don't need to worry about that. People want stories that they can relate to, that they can resonate with. So what I want to do is I want to share with you kind of our pre-storytelling preparation process. So there's a few things that you want to know before you go and tell your story. And that first thing is your bio persona. Second is your goal, your branding, your narrative, and your medium. And we're going to go through these one by one. So don't worry if you're looking at this going, uh, what? Don't worry. We're going to dive into them individually. So let's talk first about your buyer persona. Okay. So your buyer persona gives you a whole picture of who the person is that you're trying to tell a story to. So you're going to want to know who are they, right? Who is this person? What's their age, their gender, their occupation? Where do they live? What do they make, right? What Or maybe what do they do? How do they service? What are they looking to, to accomplish? What's their pain point, right? What do they struggle with most? What is their goal? So if they're lying awake in bed at night, and they're thinking in their brain, gosh, if only I could, what is that thing? If only I could do what? What is it that they're trying to accomplish? What are their interests? What do they care about? What channels are they active on? That's going to give you a good idea of where you're, you need to tell your story. And then why do they buy? And what is their story? Knowing those things allows you to be effective as you tell your own story to them and as you connect to them. Okay. Next, we want to define your goal. This is important because, hey, we want to know what we want people to do once they learn our story, right? Are you trying to drive action? Do you want them to join your email list? Do you want them to buy your product? Do you want them to, you know, what is it that you want them to do? Are you looking to raise brand awareness so that later on down the road, when they're ready, they think of you, right? Or maybe when it's date night, they think, oh, I want to go to that restaurant. Is it to teach and educate? Maybe there's an issue that they might not even know that they have, and you want to let them know about that and let them know how, they, how you can solve that problem. Or are you looking to foster relationships, right? Build that relationship so that over time, you're more likely to get them as a customer, right? What's your goal? Next, we want to define your branding. Good branding is the key to making sure your audience is constantly reminded of your story. 
And one of the most important things to do here is to focus on that visual brand identity. And that visual brand identity is a personality for your brand with human characteristics. That is key to forming emotional connections with your customer. Now, the most important part of your brand identity is to have a strong, high quality logo that embodies the values and traits of your business. Without that, pretty much everything else that we're doing in, in your visual brand falls flat. Okay. You wanna use images that complement your logo and you want them to have similar fonts and colors so that they tell a cohesive story to your audience. When they view you from platform to platform, when they learn about you, it's all consistent. So they get a sense of who you are and what you're all about. And then finally, what I want you to do because you need to determine your brand's voice. And what I want you to do right now is to actually take action with us right now. We're gonna, again, take steps forward together. Think of three personality traits of your brand. So if your brand could talk, what would it sound like? So thanks, thank you for typing those in, that's good. So you've already taken steps, by the way, to define your branding, and that's gonna help you as you go forward and tell your story. So now that we know why, let's get to the how. So one of the things that's important is that storytelling is an art and it needs to be honed. And not every pitch is considered a story and not every story is considered a good one. While it's important to understand the significance of storytelling, it's also important not to waste time and energy on pseudo storytelling that won't do anything to truly empower your brand. So I wanna share with you the key elements of a marketing narrative. And that would be the hero, and maybe there's another term for that. Maybe it's more protagonist, right? But hero, obstacle, and resolution. So what I want you to do, and when I say this, when I say hero, I actually want you to switch that in your mind to protagonist, right? Who's your story's protagonist? And who you want this to be, this should always be either your customer or a relatable figure to your customer, they should be your story's hero or protagonist. So I want you to take a second, think about that. Who is the hero for your story? Send it over in the chat. I'm gonna keep moving on, but I want you to really, you know, decide who is your story's hero. And if we've you've done the work earlier, then you already know this person, right? You know your story's hero or protagonist, okay? But the most important thing to remember here is that your business is never your hero. Your business is never the protagonist of this story. That is one of the biggest mistakes that businesses make when it comes to storytelling advertising. Telling a story that stars your business as the protagonist is unrelatable and it's easily ignorable. So we don't want to do that. Okay. Next in your story is the obstacle. What obstacle does your hero or your protagonist face? And what is it that they're not able to attain on their own without your business or product? What do they struggle with? This goes back to that pain point, that thing that they're lying awake in bed at night and they can't figure out what it is that they need. And then finally, the resolution, which is how does your business provide a solution? Now, while your business is not gonna be the protagonist, it is almost always the solution to your protagonist's problem. Okay, so again, your business is not going to be the protagonist. The story is about your customer. The resolution is about the solution to the hero's problem, which they can accomplish with your product or service. Okay, so your business will kind of provide the resolution. All right, so once you've got your story, next we want to, we want to select our mediums, right? Where do we want to share the story? How do we want to do this? There's a lot of different ways, and we'll go through these individually and kind of talk about the merits of them. Uh, written storytelling, visual storytelling, video storytelling, social media storytelling, stories on Instagram and Facebook, so Instagram stories, literally, and then transmedia storytelling. Okay, so we're going to go through some of these individually. Now, written storytelling. This could be things like blogging, articles, social posting, your About Us page, anything that's that you're going to tell your story in a written format. And while this might be the most accessible way, it's really not the easiest. Without the help of visual aid, you have to really work at it in order to evoke an emotional response. Remember, you can always accompany written storytelling with an image or video. And I would highly encourage you to do that. But I want to show you a great example 
of somebody telling their brand story in a written format. And this is Warby Parker. I'm sure you've heard of Warby Parker. They do an excellent job of telling their brand story with the written word alone. Telling a story of students who can't afford eyeglasses, they present a relatable brand with values that resonate with their target audience. Notice the hero, the challenge, and the resolution, right? They do such a great job with this. Even their welcome email points straight to their story. Now, even if a customer only reads the brand origin story once, that message sets the tone for all of the emails that are still to come, okay? Whenever the customer opens an email, they'll think of the brand's goal to provide revolutionary prices. These, these guys went from being two students with a $700 deficit in lost glasses to being worth $1.75 billion. Their storytelling connects and it works. And they did that with the written word. All right, so visual storytelling. Now this is where we believe you really start to get into the good stuff. And this can be things like objects, tables, models, photographs, videos, graphs, drawing or diagrams, maps, images, tables, and infographics. Visual storytelling is gonna be one of the most powerful ways that you can tell your story, especially videos, uh, videos you know, using uh, videos in your visual storytelling. One thing to understand is that people remember 10% of what they hear, 20% of what they read, and 80% of what they see and do, according to HubSpot. Visual storytelling is going to be key. Fast Company says tweets with images are 94% more likely to be retweeted than tweets without. And Fast Company says our brains process images 60,000 times faster than text. So what I want to do, I want to share an example of a company that does a really great job sharing a cohesive story and keeping consistency. These folks, Easy Edamame, today's platforms make it easier than ever to create a cohesive story. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that every image is branded with your logo so that your audience learns to recognize your brand and the values that are behind it. The goal is for the audience to instantly recognize who you are through every touch point with your brand. You can see right here, this is a, a Taylor Brands user and their imagery matches their logo and their brand colors. You can just tell when you look at their Instagram feed, you know exactly what their story is. The customer is the hero, attaining healthy, affordable food is the obstacle. And of course, as it should be in this case, easy edamame is the solution. Now, creating consistent branding is easier than it looks. If you have, like me, just kind of struggled with this, like I'm just not great with this whole color thing and making things consistent and all that kind of thing. The beautiful thing is that Taylor Brands makes it so easy to do this. And as I promised in the beginning, I told you I was gonna not only tell you what to do, but show you how to do it. I'm gonna actually do that right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and create our logo. Uh, and then we'll use that logo in our brand book, a design studio, and even how to create a website. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to head over to uh, my Taylor Brands account. And actually, what I'll do is I'll start here, taylorbrands.com. And what I'm going to do is head right to this site. And if we were starting from scratch and we say, okay, I've got this, this brand. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with it, how to tell my story visually. Um, I'm going to, I'll call it uh, Cute Kids Apparel. What I'll do for this example, let's pretend that we have an online children's clothing store and our company name is Cute Kids Apparel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'll click on design. Now I won't go through this entire process. Uh, it's a pretty quick process, but what I'll do is the industry, we'll call it retail. And we could you know, type in a little bit more about who we are and what we do, but I'm gonna skip that for now. And now we can decide what kind of logo do we want? Do we want an initial-based logo, a name-based logo, or an icon-based logo? And let's try icon-based. Let's see what we come up with. Now we can look for a certain icon, or we can do what I do is I'm going to let Taylor do it for me. And so uh, I'll let Taylor come up with that. And now to help Taylor Brands get an idea of what we like, what, what style suits us, uh, we can kind of click through and, and see which one we like better. So in this case, I like this one. Um... I like these both. I'll go with this one on the left. Okay. Again, same thing. We're going for it. This is a children's clothing brand. I think that one reflects it better. Uh, again, this is kind of fun and whimsical. Same thing. I like that one. Uh, I think this one's good. Let's see. Oh, both of these are good. This is a tough choice, right? <laughs> I love a lot of these. Okay. We'll do this one again. 
get finished up. And now what's happening is Taylor's AI is designing our logo and putting together a package for us. And we're going to take a look. We won't, again, we won't go through the entire process, but I just want to go through and take a look at some of the different uh, logos that are popped up. This is the first one. I already love this. Like, look at this logo. It's so well designed and getting something like this done would cost so much money and take so much time uh, if you were to go hire a designer to do this. I love the second one too. This is so much fun. Same, oh, this really speaks to me. I love this. All right, so we've got all these different logos here that we can pick from. We can pick the ones that we want. I like that too. I really like a lot of these. This one is pretty nice too, all right? And if you don't like these, you can go ahead and see more. All these different logos, and you can pick you know, the one that really speaks to you. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. I think, you know, I love this one too, but this one really speaks to me. I would probably choose that logo if it was for me. And then you can get a sense of here's what it might look like if it was on a website or I'm sorry, on a, a Facebook uh, Facebook page, right? You can see what it might look like on business cards, uh, in, inside of a book, on merch, right? And this way you get a sense of does this brand, is it reflective of me? Does this logo reflect my company? So now we've got a logo. Now, this isn't going to be our logo for the for the rest of this demonstration, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get that set up. And Taylor Brands gets that already done for you. I'm going to go back here. We, we made this kind of quick logo for this webinar, right? So uh, Taylor and promo, and I'm going to select that one. And we'll head in here. And we'll see what we can do now that we have this logo. So the first thing we can do is I'm going to go to the design tool. And now I can go in and let's say I wanted to uh, make a social post and I wanted it to be uh, connected with our brand. Well, the cool thing is because we've gone in and we've decided on our logo and the colors are in there, it's going to have this already populated for us. And here we have it. All of these things match uh, our brand story. So if I wanted to say something like, um, let's do, I like this one. The future starts today, not tomorrow. That's, that's pretty kid friendly. I like that. Get the kids going and doing their thing. So we could go in here. We can customize this to be however we want. We could change the different text layouts. Um, I'm not going to do that. And then same thing with the logo. We've got our logo here. We can make it nice and big. Remember, we want to have our logo on all of this stuff, all of our imaging, all of our branding. And now I've got this nice image. I can post this to my social media and there it is, right? We've got something that is reflective. And every time I post something uh, to social media, it is going to be a part of that visual brand story. All right, so let's exit out of that. Now we've got our logo designed. We've got some social media images that we can share. We can go through and look at our brand. We can create a website. We're gonna see that we have an entire brand book telling us exactly what we should do and what we shouldn't do uh, with that logo of ours. All right, oh, I went back to the editor, I apologize. And we're gonna go back here. So again, the thing I love about this is that if you are like me and you just simply don't really have that, that design knack, or maybe you even do, and uh, it's just not, you know, it's not something that you want to spend a lot of time on. You want to make sure that it's nailed. Taylor Brand Studio will take care of that for you. So I love that we've got that all set here. And uh, again, Taylor Brands is going to make everything so much easier as you're telling that visual brand story. The similar colors and imagery will already be there and it will be a no-brainer every time you want to go and tell your story. You don't have to worry about the things that you once had to worry about with you know, having to find the right graphic designer and then spending thousands and thousands of dollars for just the logo and then you know, never mind the website and the back and forth and you know, having to worry about being a big you know, company to be able to do that no longer. All right. Taylor brand studio makes all of that, not an issue. And you in any size company, no matter who you are without a gigantic budget can get this done and have that consistent brand story, no matter what you want to tell. Okay. So next let's talk about video storytelling. Now video is the highest performing form of marketing content. Every business should be using marketing videos. And if you're not using video in your marketing, you are going to get left behind in the dust. This is just the reality of marketing today. You have got to be using videos. And yes, I'm saying videos plural because there is no limit to the number of things that a smart video uh, can can benefit you. There's no limit to the ways that a smart video can benefit you uh, in telling your story. So we're talking about things like video ads, demo videos, video testimonials, engagement videos, and so much more. 
According to Forbes, the average user spends 88% more time on a website with video. Viewers are 95% more likely to remember a call to action after watching a video compared to 10% when reading it in text format. That's a big discrepancy. 87% of consumers want to see more videos from brands. Not only is it more effective, but consumers want more of it. Let's give them what they want. 72% of people would rather use video to learn about a product or service. That's exactly how I am. If I'm considering buying something, I look everywhere for the video to tell me all about it. And video marketers achieve a 54% increase in brand awareness. If you are not using video to tell your story, you are missing out. Okay. Now, I want to briefly uh, share this example made with promo.com. Now, promo.com is the most common form of, or I'm sorry, the, the most common form of marketing storytelling today is through video. Video leverages the power of sound, vision, and storytelling to bring your products and services to vivid life. Your brand story needs to be told with video. And the good news is it's not as hard, time-consuming, and expensive as it might seem. This has always been my struggle with video is that I am not a video designer. I can't use video production tools to save my life. Get me behind a camera. Oh, my goodness, I'm in trouble. Okay, and you might be the same way. The thing is, it doesn't have to be that hard. And I'm going to show you in a minute how you can do the same thing. And what I want to do is I want to take a second to... Uh, look at this logo, or I'm sorry, this video made with promo.com. Let's take a quick look. I'm going to watch this. It might, uh, there we go. Okay, so who can't relate to this, right? A long commute, you know, feeling lonely. There's no food in the fridge. That's That's a struggle, right? How do you handle that? Well, you want the solution, unlimited toppings, 24-7 free delivery. Boom. Vincenzo Italian Fresh Pizza. And by the way, if you couldn't hear the music, I don't think you can. It's just because of the platform. There's some beautiful music playing in the background of the video, some nice music. But you can see the elements of that story. And earlier when we were talking about the hero, the obstacle, and the solution, you might have been thinking, gosh, you know, I've got to tell this big overarching story. That is a perfect example of a nice quick story, right? Who can't relate to that issue? Sitting there, it's just like, oh, man, I'm hungry, but I don't want to go out. There's nothing in the fridge. It's a long drive to get anywhere. The obstacle, right? And then the solution is, look, Vincenzo's Pizza. They're going to give you unlimited toppings and deliver it right to you for free. And that makes them the solution, and it makes the customer be able to put themselves in the shoes of that person. And then, hey, look, I'm going to just go ahead and order pizza. Now, you might have been looking at that and thinking, gosh, that video looks like it would be pretty difficult to make. And the cool thing is you can make videos for all of your video storytelling needs, videos just like this one, across whatever platforms you want to put them on using promo.com. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hop into uh, promo, and I'm going to show you how to actually create uh, your own videos using our platform, promo.com. And we're going to keep going with our cute kids apparel uh, example, right? So we're going to have an online children's clothing store. And when you first come in here, there's a couple of different options for creating your video. So you can choose from different video clips, right? So we have millions and millions of video clips that you can choose from. So you can see we've got all these great video clips, various lengths, right? 11 seconds, 17 seconds, 30 seconds. And you can string them together. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, you can pick from these different video clips. You can also... Uh, search for a certain keyword. So let's say, for example, since it's a, a children's clothing store, maybe I'll search for baby. And we'll go down here and we can see, look, all these different baby clips, right? It's perfect. So if we go back up, that's one option is we can choose these different clips or we can use a promo template. Now, again, I keep saying how bad I am with video. Promo templates take away this problem because what they are is our actual vid video editors and video creators created these videos uh, with captions ready to go. They're all set with everything you need. Music, video, clips, captions, everything is all set. So when you want a video, you come in here, it's all set for you. You can customize it and change it to be whatever you want, but it's there and ready to go. So let's preview this video and I'll show you an example of what I mean. Sometimes the rain is just tears of joy. How cute is that? I think we're going to have to use that video. And there we go. Fashion sale right? 
this is perfect for our example. So we'll do that. Before I get to that, though, um, one of the other struggles that uh, we can have as marketers as we're trying to tell our story is day to day, trying to think of you know, what story do I want to tell today? I know our story, but how do I want to tell that story? How can I share a great piece of content, a great video to, to stay top of mind? And the way that promo.com has dealt with that is by creating our marketing calendar. Now check this out. Our content calendar is every single day will be a brand new free video that you can use. So it's a promo template that's a free video based on some kind of special thing going on that day. So we've got Tip Tuesday, we've got President's Day, Thursday Thoughts, right? All these different things. Uh, let's do this one, Sunday Sale. Let's see what this one, hashtag Sunday Sale. And we can check out what this one is. I love it. Treat yourself with our hashtag Sunday Sale. 25% off. And obviously you can make it be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be 25% off. You can customize all that. Your logo will go there. But this is a great way to have something to put out there, to stay top of mind, to get those sales for whatever it is that you're looking to do. So uh, the, the calendar is here. You can go back and get videos from previous months. Um, so all those videos are available to you so you never have to run out of content to promote. So let's go back here to uh, promo.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize this video and just show you how you can make your video to tell that story, like the one that we saw uh, just a minute ago with Vincenzo's Pizza. So the first thing is we can we want to decide what aspect ratio we want. So we might want a wide video for YouTube, for example, or if you wanted a video for your Facebook cover, you could have a square video for Instagram, Facebook, vertical, same thing for Instagram and Facebook. Let's go with, um, you know what? I like the square. Let's keep it square. Now, there's a few things that we want to look at first. So first, we have the clip. So we've got the video footage already there for you, but maybe you would like to have a video clip uh, that you want to just briefly record, right? Maybe you've got an example of a story you want to tell or uh, something like that. You can record it and upload that clip and put it right in here. So wherever you want to do it, we can edit this clip. We can trim it, right? We can put a filter on it. We can make it longer or shorter. So you have the ability to do that. If you would rather not upload your own clip, no problem. We've got all this wonderful footage and you can add more uh, if you'd like to. So if you want more added to this, you can add uh, you know, another video or photo or caption, right? Let's next go to the music. So you won't be able to hear this, uh, but we've got this music playing over here. You can pick from all these wonderful uh, options for music. And there seems to be an endless uh, number of music. If you want to upload your own music or you want to upload uh, a voiceover to explain what you're talking about or, you know, with a customer testimonial, you can do that as well. You can also choose from the various different media, and that could be videos, that could be photos. You could, again, upload your own photo if you wanted to have something uh, on the screen, and you could fully customize this to be whatever you want, okay? Uh, now, let's go in. We can change the different captions. So for this one, we could change the text to say something different. I'm not going to do that, but if we wanted to, we could go in and edit it. We could. Uh, so there's the editor, so you can see what it looks like. We could have it be a, a different animation. So Instead, it could pop out like that. We could have a little soda pop. I really like that one. I think that one's fun. Uh, so we'll do that. And then for the tears of joy for the second caption, same thing. We could change it so it fades in like that. We can have it be this hard copy example, right? Whatever we want. I like to step up for this one. And then for the outro, what we're going to want to do is we'll want to customize the logo. I've got this old logo that I used. So we'll put our cute kids apparel logo and we'll add that to the video. All right. And I know that wasn't the, the logo that we created earlier. This is just one that I, I put together for us uh, prior to this webinar. And then we can customize this. We'll put our own URL in there. And our video is now good to go. Now, of course, we can change it, do whatever we want to do to it. Um, but let's say right now we're all set. And what we'll do is we'll save and preview. And it's going to put it all together for us. All right, so here it is. We can preview our video. There's with the changes that we made to it. I love that. It's so much fun. It's such a fun video. All right, we've got our logo popping up, and we always want to have our logo on the videos, again, for that branding. And what we can do is let's say we want to, before we go and publish this publicly or before we run ads or however you're going to use this video, let's say we want to get either approval from our team 
or make sure that we didn't miss anything. Or maybe we want to get some of our audience members feedback, right? Some of those, some of our customers and see what they think before we start promoting it. Well, we can share a link to this page where people can actually see a preview of this video and let us know what they think of it. Right, so I love that. Uh, that's a really great option. If we're not done, we can go back and edit it some more. When we are ready, we can click on publish and we'll go on and do that. So it's gonna take us to the video. And there's just one other thing I wanna show you once we get to this video. Uh, and now you can see just how easy it is to create great videos using promo.com. So we're gonna get to our video here. And once we get here, we'll have the option to uh, decide a different aspect ratio. So maybe we want the wide video for YouTube. Maybe we want that uh, square video or the vertical video. So here they are. They're ready to go for us already. So I love this. Here's the wide version. We've got the square and the vertical version. Again, we can use as many of those as we like. Now, when you're ready to post it, if you want to post it straight to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or Twitter, we can do that right here inside of promo.com. You can also post it to Wistia or HubSpot. All right. You can get a branded link if you want to, or you can just download the video so you can publish it wherever you'd like to do that. Just like before, having to worry about the, the costs, right? Hundreds of thousands of dollars for a video, that's gone, right? Knowing how to edit your videos, produce, do audio engineering, gone. You don't need to understand or have expensive equipment, gone. And that time taking months, we literally created a video here live on this training in, you know, what, two minutes? So again, we have that ability to get that done using promo.com and it's going to make telling your story that much easier and more effective. All right. So now that we've got our videos, we've got our imagery, Social media is a great place to share all the different storytelling mediums that we spoke about up until now. When you are writing those posts, when you're creating those great visuals using Taylor Brands, when you have your awesome video that, videos that you've created using promo.com or the user-generated content, when they're sharing their stuff, right? When they're, you know, at your, your bar's trivia night or, you know, they have, you know, they're wearing your apparel, whatever it is, that stuff is valuable. And we can use social media to promote that stuff. And according to social media today, engagement on posts with videos are 13.9% higher. Okay. So again, videos, I can't spec or I can't uh, emphasize this enough. Video is the highest performing form of marketing content. You need to be using marketing videos with your logo, your high quality logo on that video. Um, that is going to be your most effective way to increase engagement, to tell your story. Okay. So let's keep that in mind. Okay. So social media storytelling continued. A, a social media story can be made up of multiple building blocks. Now it can include videos. It can be captions, GIFs, and images. But more importantly, when you tell your story on social media, it has the added quality of viewer involvement. That's what makes social media storytelling so much more effective. It's no longer a one-way relationship between a storyteller and an audience. Social media allows brands to invite their audience to contribute to the stories told, making it a living organism that invites your audience to take an active part. Video is the highest performing form of social media marketing, so you want to be using video in your social media marketing. But again, when we use social media, we want to do a great job of telling that story. Now, one thing to keep in mind that's really critical when it comes to social media is to always go native. Tailor your videos for each platform to maximize engagement, views, and conversions. Because each social media platform is going to have different specs, dimensions, styles, and an appropriate tone for that platform. If you used a video that was optimized for Instagram on LinkedIn, it would look out of place. And keep in mind with promo.com, you can create those different videos for the different platforms uh, to make sure that you have the, the right video for the right platform. And again, I, I have to keep saying this, be sure to include your logo on every video, regardless of the platform that you're on, so that you create that brand recognition that's key to effective marketing, okay? All right, now let's move on to story, storytelling, things like Instagram, stories, Facebook stories, and now YouTube stories. And stories are, uh, especially when you go into the app, you'll see right up along the top, you'll see people's stories. And what they are is people can share a, a short video clip or uh, an image that only lives for 24 hours. And it's only visible to people that are friends with that particular person. So 
If you want to have something that feels a little bit more personal, that's only available for a short period of time and then goes away forever, this is a great way to do that. It's a great way to connect with people about a moment in time. Maybe something that you're not going to have live on your, for example, your Instagram forever, but you still want to be able to tell that story, whether it's about a sale going on now or something that you're excited about now. That's what these stories are really valuable for. And I want to show you a great example of a company that did such a fantastic job using stories, uh, in this case, Instagram stories, uh, to, to tell the story of what they wanted people to, to do. So let's take a quick look at this. I love this. So you can see with this Instagram story, you can see this space is kind of ah, whatever space, right? There's really nothing going on in there. And uh, you can see right here, it's these little clips and it's speeding through these little clips and showing the transformation of this space from something that's kind of a useless space to something that's really useful. Uh, and it's such an interesting story. And what this is going to do is it's going to drive people to think, wow, what are these spaces in my house that maybe I'm underutilizing? And you can go and obviously drive you to go into Lowe's to, to make your own space, right? To go buy those things that you need. And of course, that's going to drive some business to them. So I really love that. That's a great example of using uh, Instagram stories. And keep in mind that stories are not just like, you know, something that people aren't using. More than half a billion people use Instagram stories every day. And a third of the most viewed stories are posted by businesses. So again, although maybe we've seen our friends posting stuff on stories and we might think, oh, this is a really personal thing. It's personal for businesses as well. All right. People love watching great stories using Instagram stories or Facebook stories posted by businesses. 62% of people say they become more interested in a brand or product after seeing it in stories. And by the way, you can create those videos that you want to post in stories using promo.com and using the great logo that you get from Taylor Brands. So uh, this is a really smart way to market your business. What I'd encourage you to do is create content formatted for the platform. Keep that in mind. Understand that when you create content, it's specifically for that platform's audience. So what are those people looking for? They're looking for something fast, something that tells a story that keeps them engaged. And you can use interactive features like questions, polls, and quizzes to not only get them engaged with the story that you're telling, but also keep them moving along and learn valuable information about them at the same time. When you tell these stories, keep them quick and to the point. People are looking for bite-sized content. Don't overwhelm your audiences with too much text. Stories go by really fast. And with too much text, they won't have enough time to read it. And then they're going to be overwhelmed and probably skip to the next thing. And one really powerful thing to do with stories is to uh, add the swipe up feature. This allows people to swipe up and it will take them to uh, another page. It could be uh, another website or another social media channel or a landing page, and that can gain more traffic for your website. So stories, again, uh, are a really powerful way to grow your business. Now, a little bonus on top of all of these things that we've been talking about is something called transmedia storytelling. And this is kind of at the advanced stages of storytelling, and you don't need to put all of what I'm about to talk to into practice in order to be effective. So don't worry if this seems like it would be a lot, but I wanted to share it with you anyway because I felt like it was valuable. So transmedia storytelling is basically telling the, sta the same story in multiple formats and multiple mediums. It could even be something like a billboard, right? What we're basically doing is surrounding our audience with the story that we're telling, bringing it all to life. And again, doing this, this kind of all-encompassing transmedia storytelling, it might not be for beginners, but it's good to know because down the road, it may be something that you want to do. What we're striving for here with this transmedia storytelling is continuity of the narrative as the story expands across all those different channels, giving users a truly immersive experience. It's pervasive, which means the story evolves and gains more depth. It's persistent, meaning the campaign must persist through multiple channels. So again, it could be they see a billboard, they see a commercial, they see an ad on Facebook, and they see your Instagram story, and it all connects. It's participatory. So the audience is encouraged to participate actively. And I'll show you a great example of that in a second. And it is personalized. So the media is personalized per that user's stage and platform, wherever they are at the moment, it's going to relate to them. 
Okay, so here's a great example. I know some of you will probably remember the Dove Derma series hashtag in my own skin campaign. And this was absolutely everywhere. It was, it was on billboards, it was in commercials, it was on their social channels, and they were encouraging people to uh, share their stories of empowerment using the hashtag in my own skin. It was really incredibly powerful, but again, it was everywhere. So people felt so immersed in the story that they told. Another great example was this Tide ad, the Super Bowl uh, Tide ad from 2018. I know easy to forget a Super Bowl uh, from a year ago, but <laughs> this was a really, a really cool campaign because what they did for the the Super Bowl commercial was they ran it like it was a bunch of um, other kinds of commercials. So it looked like it at first it was like going to be a car commercial, and then it was going to be, you know, like a, a skincare commercial or whatever. And it turned out to be a Tide commercial. And they ran this whole thing with the same actors and different ads. So on their social platforms, they had some of the same uh, actors. And they kind of made it, again, sound like uh, a pharmaceutical ad because they said, you know, clean clothes are an indication of a Tide ad, right? So um, this kind of all-encompassing thing where they put all the same stuff and it was a cohesive, coherent story across all these different platforms is a really smart way to use this transmedia storytelling. Okay. Now, again, it might seem too complicated. You can start with just simply getting a great video that tells a simple story that gets people to connect with you and then want to take whatever action you want them to take. And then as you grow and as you get more experience doing that, you can evolve to this transmedia storytelling. Now, what I want to do is, you know, we're getting to the point where you're probably ready to get that story going and ready to start sharing it. And before you do, what I want you to do is go through this checklist to make sure that you've got your marketing story ready to go. And so ask yourself, is your marketing story relevant? Is it relevant to the people that are going to be you know, hearing that story or seeing that story? Is it entertaining? Do people actually want to watch or is it going to bore them to tears? Is it educational? Will they learn something? Is it accessible? And is it memorable? Is this the kind of thing that they're going to forget so that later on down the road when they're hungry, they, they don't think of your restaurant? We want to stay top of mind. And if your story matches all these requirements, then you've done your job. Get that story out there. Start sharing it on the different channels, and you are going to be much more effective at getting new customers to take whatever actions that you want them to take. This is a no-brainer. So I really hope that you will take advantage of this. Uh, I do hope this training has been incredibly valuable for you. Again, my name is Tim Page, representing Promo.com and Taylor Brands. Thank you for being a part of this training. I hope you have a great rest of your day.